Hey everybody, welcome back to Real Anime Training. I am the Anime Trainer and today I'm going to show you my new golden form. I think it's time you stop talking and start showing me, Frieza. Just when you thought that Frieza had too many forms as it is, he decides that it's time to whip out a new one. So we've got Frieza with a brand new golden form thanks to Resurrection F. At first I really hated this look. I hated the way it looked. Um, I thought it was just complete garbage because it was just a rip off of, of like, you know, it's, oh, it's just Super Saiyan, but Frieza. And it, I, I, it just irritated the crap out of me. But as time has gone along, the way that it looks has kind of really grown on me. So I'm actually quite fine with the look now. But uh, at the beginning, I was like, ah. Oh. For this workout, I picked some exercises for some specific moments in the Golden Frieza fight. For the first is the moment that he transforms. Uh, for that moment, I have picked triple unders, which is a ridiculously, ridiculously difficult jump rope maneuver. Uh, for the second part, because of the brutality of the fight, I was just so rough, um, I picked overhead walking lunges, which is a very difficult exercise if you are not used to having something overhead, uh, and also, you know, walking lunges with something overhead. It's pretty tough. Um, and finally, him pushing back against the Kamehameha, uh, we're going to do a clean and jerk. So how that breaks down is we're going to do 10 triple unders, or you can do 30 double unders if you can't do triple unders. I don't want you guys to just be stuck trying triple unders for the whole workout and not being able to do anything else. Or if you're just really, really bad at jump rope, you can do 90 single unders. That's fine. We're going to do an overhead walking lunge for five reps on each side with a pretty heavy weight. Uh, the workout has it listed as three quarters of your body weight, but that's a lot of weight to have over your head for this. So please use something that's relatively heavy that you're not going to drop on your head. Please be careful. Having something over your head like this and doing a single leg movement is very, very difficult. And we're going to finish out with a heavy clean and jerk. The workout listed on the blog has the weight for the clean and jerk being equal to your body weight. But once again, if you are new to the clean and jerk, technique, please start very light, preferably with the bar, um, and add weight as you get better at the movement. If you are attempting high skill technical movements without the appropriate level of skill, with more weight than you can handle, I guarantee you're going to hurt yourself. So make sure that you scale it back, get the technique right before you add any weight. And we're going to do that for three minutes. That's right, only three minutes. Frieza's golden form, when he first got it, he didn't have the stamina to maintain it. So that's why the workout's only three minutes long, and it's to make sure that you are really pushing yourself, because you may not even finish the entire workout in three minutes if you're not good at the movements. So you're gonna really have to work hard. If you can manage to get a single round in, that's fantastic. If you can get two rounds in, that's amazing. If you can get three rounds in of golden Frieza, you are ridiculous. Three minutes ain't a lot of time to work, but I guarantee it's gonna feel like it at the end of three minutes. All right, some technical points about each of these exercises. For the triple unders, um, I can only rarely pull off a triple under. I can't really jump quite high enough to get the rope all the way around, but sometimes I can do it. You got it? It stopped behind me. But I got but it in my feet. Uh, but for the triple unders, uh, you want to make sure that it's just like a double under. We've got our elbows tight to our side, hands are in front of the body. We really want to focus on that rotation. So we want to go instead of single under, instead of double under, it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, it's going to be real fast. And it's just going to be from the wrist because if you try to move from the elbow, um, it's going to be too much motion to get you to complete it. Um, you want to focus on jumping as high as you can, uh, and we're bouncing from the calves primarily. We've got a little bit of a knee bend, um, but you need to be able to do it quickly. That means the majority of your bounce is going to come from your ankles and calves. Keep that chest high. Don't bend over. Try not to raise your legs up super high. I know to get the triple under, you might have to cheat it a little bit. Just do the best that you can. 
For the barbell overhead walking lunge, you're gonna have your arms wider than shoulders. It'll be a little bit easier for your mobility. Um, then you're going to make sure that you have your core very tight. As you step forward, do not step forward quickly, nice controlled. As you step forward, you're gonna take your back knee down, control down, drive through the foot, drive through the midfoot and heel of the front foot and come up to standing. I would recommend not going directly into the next step, but stopping in the middle before you take the next step on the other side. Like I said, use a lighter weight to begin with. This is a difficult movement if you are not used to doing things like this. The clean and jerk is super, super technical. It is very, very technical. The clean and jerk is a combination movement of a clean followed by a jerk. You want to do both of these movements uh, completely separate from one another. So you will do the clean, come to full standing, and then do the jerk. Once you do the jerk, you can drop the bar to reset. Uh, but you're still doing the clean just like you would normally. So you are uh, driving through the heels, squeezing the glutes, fully extending at the hips, ankles, and upper back, and then receiving the bar by dropping underneath it and then standing up. And then you will do the jerk by driving through uh, the hips and the heels and making sure that you are dropping underneath the bar and then coming to full standing. I recommend for the clean and jerk since it is normally a heavier weight uh, that you go ahead and have a place where you can drop the bar uh, and weights that you can actually drop. Don't drop like you know metal weights or anything like that. You want to drop like bumper plates and as you drop it you're going to step back and let it fall in front of you. Be very careful with this movement. Start light if when you're starting light you can lower it like normal it's not a big deal you don't have to drop it but start light make sure you have the technique down before you start adding a bunch of weight i guarantee that if you do that you're going to hurt yourself so we've got all three of those exercises super technical every single one of them they're very difficult we're going to shove them into three minutes and we're going to absolutely leave you with zero stamina left you might be so tired and mad that you want to blow up the planet this workout is meant to be done at the end of a weight training strength workout or a calisthenic strength workout or done in the whole list of first form, second form, third form, etc., all the way down to Golden Frieza workout, which we will do in our next video. We're going to have the full workout detailed with all of the rest periods and some additional notes so that you guys can do the workout as it is intended to be done together. I really hope you enjoyed this workout and I hope you enjoyed this series so far as we wrap it up in the next video. It has been a blast doing all these Frieza form videos for you guys. Um, if you want some more training, we've got some free stuff in the description. And if you want to become a patron and help us make more amazing content, we would love to have you. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. And until next time, guys, good luck and train hard. Frieza may be golden, but you know who's golden in my heart? Our patrons. Duffy, that's the cheesiest thing I've ever heard! He's not wrong. <laughs>